Where you come from? Guess. Uh, good people, nice country. Uh, you cheers, have a man. nice plan. I hope that you're all having a good day. So today is the 3rd of August um, and at the moment, as you, if you haven't already guessed, that I'm actually in, in Rome. And I arrived here last night, or yesterday afternoon rather, I didn't really um, do, do anything yesterday. And I've been here before. I came to Rome in, I was looking at my travel history yesterday actually, and it was 2013. Uh, and it was in October and I remember very clearly remember this whole place being full of people uh, there wasn't even anywhere to stand or walk or anything and today today there's there's nobody here I mean there's a few people dotted about there's a small queue over there to get in but I think I think that's there's a queue there maybe to buy the tickets to go in there but I think it's done on some kind of time system where certain people can go in at certain times, but regardless, there is a distinct lack, a lack of people here. And uh, to be honest, I'm pretty shocked. The, the, the Roman economy must be in a bit of a, a sorry state if, with, with such few people here. But you can see people up there in the, in the Colosseum there. I mean, I'm, I'm not too fussed about going inside. I'm not really, uh, not really into uh, looking, looking at old, um, old ruins that much, and uh, I've been inside before, so I don't really want to go in again. I think it's, I think it's, I think the ticket was 15 or 16 euros, which, which is reasonable. It's not, it's not an unreasonable amount of money. I've seen, I've seen a lot worse in places. Petra, Jordan, I'm looking at you. But you can see, in August, you would expect it to be absolutely buzzing i remember when i came last time it was absolutely buzzing and that was in october so in august summer holidays peak holiday season no there's nobody here i remember taking a photo underneath that uh, underneath that arch and, and it was actually my um my, my, the reason I was here was actually I was connecting on a flight. For any of you uh, British viewers out there, top, top tip for you guys. This is if you have time to spare. The UK government at the moment charges uh, a surcharge for long haul flights or duty, they call it, air passenger duty of 75, I think it's 75 pounds. Just take a seat, 75 pounds for a flight going, I think it's outside the EU. And within the EU, I think it's 10 or 12 pounds. And the easy way to get out of that is to book what's known as an open jaw ticket. That basically means uh, your, the, 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 your, your starting point and your end point are two different, two different cities. For example, you'll fly from London to, um, let's say Beijing and then Beijing back to Manchester instead of London. It's possible to do this on an airline like Emirates that fly to both cities or Cathay Pacific or something. And usually airlines don't charge you any more money for doing something like this or it's a nominal amount, it's not a big deal. So what I used to do was I used to book open jaw flights that used to start in a European city. So I would go from uh, in this particular instance, I actually flew on the Qatar Airways. I got this flight really cheap, 300 pounds. I flew from Rome to Seoul and then back to Manchester. I, li I live near Manchester. And the, the ticket was a lot, um, a lot cheaper than taking a flight from the UK because of there was no duty. And then I just bought a cheap Ryanair flight from, I think it was Manchester or Birmingham or something, to Rome. Just, just the day before, the afternoon before, and then the next morning I woke up, went to the airport and then flew to, flew to Seoul. So that is, that is just a top tip for you guys. If you're ever in the market for long haul flying and you fancy, you can take in a new European city at the same time. So you know, you can pick any city. Most of these Middle Eastern airlines have, or used to have, big, big, uh, big European networks. So you can fly to Warsaw, you can fly to Budapest, you can fly to, fly, uh, fly from almost anywhere. 
and save the £75 you waste on uh, air passenger duty and, get, and um, you can spend that money on a hotel in Rome or wherever you want in Milan, wherever you want to go or maybe even Germany so this, that's the uh, that's the guide to the Colosseum I think my next next stop is going to be the Pan is going to be Pantheon I believe yeah Pan, Pantheon and Foro Foro Romano which I think is uh, another old another old building I mentioned this earlier in another video is that the uh, the uh, whole um, the whole black and white African white. No thanks. <laughs> Cheers, man. Take a guess. Where are you from? Take a guess. Really? Yeah. yeah. I was happy. Right. <laughs> okay. You know why? Because now I see them now black and white. Right. There's not many tourists now, is there? No, no, no. no. no nobody. Corona. Yeah. yeah. Maybe she not have Corona. I came it's here. Not, it's not people from here. Not go and find that way. Yeah. Know, I came here six, seven years maybe, ago. It was four. You know, maybe. Saturday, Fridays. Oh, weekends people. is busy, yeah, but not, not during the week. Yeah. Well, maybe not weekend, man. Is the yeah, weekend. yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's here, not go and not enter as well. It's the only round as well. Uh, it's a big round, man. You come here, how long are you here? Uh, two days. What is it? Yeah, well, I'm making a documentary. Uh, you take this documentary? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm making a documentary of traveling to places after uh, Corona. Yeah, where yeah. Come from? UK. England? Yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Cheers, <man. laughs> My friend even nice in the pool. <laughs> Alright, see you later, man. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, Kizza. That's for you because you're happy. No, it's okay. <laughs> I don't need it, it's okay. <laughs> They're trying to scam me now. This is what happens. They give you a bracelet and then they try to take the money off you. Oh, uh, he, he, he suddenly changed his mind after I started talking to the camera. Yeah, he threw the bracelet to me. It's it's a common it's a common scam in Italy. He did say that the weekends is busier. Could be domestic tourism, you know, or people just coming from surrounding countries just for a few days. I actually, I actually have been been here, not to Rome, but just to Italy. In February, I actually flew to, I think Ciampino, however you say it, airport, and I took a, um, I took a cheap Ryanair flight there, and then made my way down to Naples via the Amalfi Coast, and it was in February, and it was so cold. <laughs> I took off from Manchester and it was uh, it was 13 degrees. I landed in Rome and it's three. How's I off? Damn it! Well, I just took that bike. Um, from the Colosseum to here <clears throat> and it was actually just one euro and it's electrically assisted so it's quite easy and I think, I think it's a very good service the only problem is the streets are cobbled so it won't be the most comfortable ride you've had but I highly recommend those for one euro you can't go wrong I think they charge per minute uh, well I think that side is locked I might just climb over it but Oh wow, I've no idea what this building is, but it's very, very grand. Ah, there you can walk through.
not even a thank you. Anyway, the Trevi Fountain is around here somewhere. Uh, everyone's favourite McDonald's. It's right here. I believe they always try to place them near tourist hotspots as, as, a, ban that's, as a branding exercise. That's what I think. Because wherever you go, in a, in a big touristy area, there's always a McDonald's somewhere near there. So people can see another scammer. Take a guess. Where you come from? Guess. Uh, good people, nice country. Uh, you cheers, have a man. nice band, man. Thank you. You and my father, same, same look. Cheers, man. I like you. Yeah. Nice. You like Africa. Cheers. Salonika, I think. Huh? Salonika, I think. Huh? Where do you come from? This? Huh? Where do you come from? Your country? Take a guess. Yeah, cheers. Nice country. Yes. It's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of Africa. You black and white. It's, and white. Yeah. It's, it's my work. It's free. No, you can keep no, it, man. It's, it's not free. free. It's up to you. I know I don't need it. I don't need it. I give you respect. Listen to me. You black and white. You sent to Africa. This is interesting. It's last night here. This is a nice country. A lot of people. Okay. No, I don't need it. It's okay, man. You keep it. You know, cheers, man. Another scammer. I think these people are everywhere. And I, I'm pretty sure I said clearly, take a guess. He's like, yeah, guess is a nice country. I was like, is it? I mean, I think he started speaking Hindi, but I didn't understand what he said quite. I can speak Hindi, but I've no idea what that guy was saying. Maybe he was saying it with a thick, thick African accent because his English was a, with, a, with an African accent. So maybe that's why I didn't quite understand what he was saying. Oh, there's a lot of people here. I think the Trevi Fountain is just there. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Very grand fountain. Oh, it's it's okay. I I was watching YouTube videos, and I remember last time I came here, you couldn't even get to the metal railing. It was just too deep, too two people deep. But uh, it seems all right. So I think this is one of the most famous, famous places in um, famous places in uh, Italy, or even definitely Rome, but possibly Italy. Oh, the sweat is getting into my eyes and it burns. All right, so next stop, I was thinking, I was looking at my map here. There's a thing called Pantheon and Vatican City. But the Vatican City is a, is a metro right away. I think I might head over to the Pantheon and see, see what that's like. I'd like to go a different direction to avoid those scammers again. Because, uh, well, because I'm British and that's the way we do things. I'm going to take a photograph of my uh, iPhone here quickly. There we are, I can see. I can see it. I remember this. Yep, yep. Yeah, I remember this place.
Oh, that's the queue to get in. I thought people were just standing around. I guess the queue must appear bigger than it is because of social distancing. Oh, you don't need to go inside, you can see from outside. You can see inside from outside. It does look pretty impressive. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Vatican City next. Um, I need to take a train or again some kind of bike or scooter or something to get there. Uh, so I shall resume the recording or resume the tape um, when I get there.